Hey everyone, this is Asma Fale from CyberPanel and in today's video we will be talking about how you can fix the error of installation failed could not create directory. So this error usually occurs like most of the time it occurs once not the right permissions are given. So but you don't know how to check that out and you don't know how to fix that problem. So to fix the error of installation failed could not create directly in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can check the and authenticate the problem that okay that this is actually the problem for it and how to correct that problem so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay so first of all we need to check out whether or not I, our site have that authentication problem to check that out simply Go into tools from the left hand side menu and click on site help. Once it is open, click on this info tab at the very top. And scroll down, you'll see a lot of options over here and simply click on file system permissions. So over here, you will see which sites have that option of you writing to the directories or you have that access or not. Since I'm the admin, I right now I, I have all of the rights. But for some reason, if it is not writable over here, I'm gonna show you how you can fix this problem. So to fix this problem, simply I'm gonna assume that you already have Bitwise. So in your Bitwise, simply add your host, your port, your username, your password to your WP site. And once you have connected remotely, Click on new SFTP window from the left hand side menu. Okay, so once this is open, you have public HTML. Now you can either do it for all of the files present in public HTML or you can also individually do, it, you know, do that. I'm going to show you both. So first of all, go into public HTML, right click on it and go into properties. From here, click on permissions and you will be able to know which one uh, which permissions you are able to give uh, to owner to group or to any other and make sure that your numerical is always 755 so you can here uh, from here you can change the permissions right now i have uh, already right uh, i have already selected right for all of uh, the internal files okay so what if i want uh, let's enter public html first so what if I want only WP admin, WP content and WP includes uh, from these three, I want only to give permission for WP admin or WP content. For example, WP content, I want to give permission to my editors or to other people too. So let me again, right click on it, go into properties. From here, go into permissions and I can give permission to write in the group as well. So once I do okay, automatically its permission will change now so this is how you can uh, overcome the problem okay so that's it for today if you still have any questions don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section about that question and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel